All right, so the million dollar question. Excuse the background noise, we got some construction going on over here. So, million dollar question. How do you get this ECU out of here? Well, it's pretty much right back there, right? Right, right back behind that on the engine block. Going through the top or going through the bottom. That's what I'm gonna have to try to figure out now. All right, so we're going to, um, down here at the bottom, we'll disconnect that guy right there, that bolt. That's the one cable. There's another bolt right up there at the top. And then on this side, cable, bolt right there, right? And then another bolt up there at the top. So let's disconnect these guys and see how we're gonna pull it out through the hood, right? Cause it's just pretty tight down here. I don't have to pull all of that mess just to get this guy out. So let's see how we're gonna get it out through the top. All right, let me pull this stuff out real quick. All right, got it in, got the ECM in. So check it out. There's a couple things that you gotta, right here, there's a strap that goes across the top and that strap locks down this um, this plug right the latch plug these are there's a 10 millimeter and then an 8 millimeter 10 millimeter 8 millimeter on mine could be different for everybody else but uh, in some vehicles i've seen it you know 8 millimeter here and 10 here and then vice versa but either way got it out through the top um, it, it wasn't too hard just had to remove uh, just had to remove the rubber hose right right there and then just kind of wiggled it out Got the tune file. So here's the tune file. So now all you should have to do is double click on the tune file that you were sent back from Optimal. Um, and that'll open this. And then once it opens it, you can then click on right vehicle. Uh, you do not have a license. All right, so it's showing six credits available. You do not have a license to perform the current action. Select the license you wish to. Right, which will be here. This is the license right here. So as soon as you do this, this is it, it's done. You, you use these credits. So, um, you know, make sure that, that you wanna do this, right? So this is my file. Uh, this is the specific version. Uh, this is all mine. So I'm gonna say, okay. And it says, are you sure? I'm gonna say, yes. And now it's going to write, right? So here we go, right file. This is gonna take a little while. It's definitely not gonna be fast. Now, again, this is where you're gonna see these errors up here, right? You're gonna see a ton of different errors. They're gonna flip through. Uh, this stuff is gonna pop on and off. I mean, you're gonna see all kinds of things happening. Uh, it's normal, you know, don't, don't panic. So see, there goes service airbag. You know, again, just, you know, just remember, everything's gonna go just fine. All right, so I'm gonna let this run, um, and then we'll be back to check in on it in a few minutes, okay? All right, so we're gonna turn ignition off, wait 10 seconds, and then turn ignition on and click OK. So, turn off. Let's turn it back on.
And let's click OK. Now it says write completed. All right, so here is the moment of truth, right? says the hood's up, tire pressure's good, no check engine, no errors, okay, let's turn it off, all right, so far so good, let's go, uh, let's go do the exhaust now and everything else, all right, so since the first test went really well, we're going to go ahead and put this back. Uh, put it in there, keep it for safekeeping. Um, we'll go ahead and put in the uh, five position switch. Um, I've, I've done this, you, I made the video on that. I'll post the link down below. Uh, but let me clean this up and then we're gonna pull out the DEF and we'll put in the exhaust. I had this exhaust in my 2019 as well. So, and yes, it will fit here in the 2022. So stay tuned.